Hi everybody, my name is Martin. Welcome back to Master of Orion. We are um, looking pretty good here with about half the galaxy under our control. Uh, the Borathi are fairly scary and they are just uh, wrapping up the last of the Clacon Empire here. Which we uh, were kind enough to wound for them. But I feel that our production base, uh, including these very good planets over here in uh, Samarkand and of course Orion is, uh, is, is a fairly strong position uh, against the Borati when we get to that point. But I was thinking that we might as well just um, see if we can take this system from the Clagon before the Borati do it. And um, well, partly because it's a fairly decent system and also because it's quite close to our homeland maybe also the uh, clack on homeworld so I've just queued up uh, some transports here between videos in uh, Shira Prime some uh, troop transports and I also have a single transport which was already um, ready and have sent it to the Shira system along with some military vessels so if we have time we'll go in there and we'll claim these systems and maybe clack on Prime um, before the Barati can do so We'll see if it is um, uh, possible. There's every chance that the Barathe just are going to rush right through them and, and clean up the uh, Bar the uh, Clagons before we have time to do anything. Uh, pollution here is fine actually. Uh, let's get some production and uh, can you grow? Oh, you can grow a lot actually. So get all that stuff, that's fine, and uh, move the pollution cleanup for later. It's a new recording session for me, it's been a couple of days, so I'm just going to need to get my bearings, but uh, I expect we'll get into the thick of things fairly quickly. A battle station sounds nice and... Uh, Pollution is under control. We have stuff in queue and you are just growing fine. Let's see how we're doing when the Barathe moves. I think they are bombarding. Oh, did, did the Klagon actually win a battle there? That's pretty impressive. So we have a colony with a lot of pollution. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. <laughs> A fair assessment. Okay, let's just uh, take care of that and then why don't we cycle through our planets to see if we have any more ridiculous pollution uh, concentrations like that. Uh, you can queue up these. Can you finish that eight times far? No, you can't. You do that first and then that and then we'll see. Uh, Oh, and I'm sorry, we were supposed to go through all the plants. Uh, that one. All of these are fine, fine. Yeah, it seems we are mostly okay. That'll be okay, and you're doing this. Good. Can you terraform? You can. Terraforming actually reduces pollution as well. So, minus two in 19 turns. Since I'm going to be doing that anyway, I might as well do it now. And then clean up the rest of the pollution after. I like that. The uh, drawback is that you'll get these pop-ups like for every turn in the next 20 turns for that planet. So we've completed some research here. We have the Space Academy, better Marines, better military outposts. Right, I was looking for that at some point. And Marine parts. Okay, so now we have more Marines in a uh, troop transport, which is certainly nice. Is that the... Yes, this is the uh, plus five tiles tech which is uh, really really awesome seven turns is fair you have stuff in queue and you're growing that's fine now since I just 
got that plus. So now, now my marine, marine uh, troop transports here have six marines, which means I don't actually think I can produce this. Let's just see. Yeah, it's not in the list anymore. So although it was in the queue, I wouldn't have been able to produce it. Or if I did, then it would only have one marine. So there you have it. You are ready. Just move up here. And what kind of defenses do they have here? A little bit. 10,000 points. And what are the Barathi bringing to the party? Well, not much. Was that the entire Barathi fleet that got destroyed? Oh, there we go. 70,000 points. Right, so... The Barathi will take care of these um, frigates quite handily. Except they went back. You want an embassy? I'm going to decline that because I have a mind to declaring war on you fairly soon. We do have a, a peace treaty with the Klagon currently, but uh, that never stopped anyone. So we are on the ballot, but uh, the Klagan are going to vote for no one, and so it's going to be a draw. We are fairly close, though. We could probably win a uh, diplomatic victory just by taking some of the Klagan planets here, and, and then maybe just a couple in the war against the Barathe, or maybe just outproducing them. I don't know if their number of votes depend on your colonies, or your pop, or your score, or what it what it actually depends on. You have stuff in queue, that's fine, and you are growing, that's equally fine. Let's see another troop transport there, yes, you're just gonna move up, and you're gonna go back to terraforming, and pollution is fine. Good. So, what kind of troop pollution again? Is that just that? Uh, yeah, that's just that planet that we had before. And you have completed a pollution processor and you have nothing in the queue. Pollution is fine. You can still grow a little bit. Uh, trade goods we don't want. Orbital shipyard. Sure. Yeah, I don't actually see anywhere where you can see the um, the uh, experience, the ground combat rating of Marines. So I'm not sure it's implemented yet, which would make this building kind of uh, irrelevant. Let's just do some Gaia transformation here. And you are actually a very good production plant. And you can grow, so uh, why don't you do so? Subterranean farms, nothing wrong with that. Mm, get some research going, and you probably want to go Gaia as well. Pollution is fine. All of these have things in the queue. And our troop transporter are ready, and here comes the first of our uh, military vessels for the invasion. So we have three troop transports. Now what happened over here? Uh, so the Klagon put their whole fleet together, and they are coming down here, but the Balrathi are going the other way. There's another fleet there. Okay, so they will tangle. That's fine. And up here you have next to nothing. Three frigates to defend these systems. <coughs> That's going to be a little bit on the light side. So that one ran away as well. Grown, grown. You have maxed out your population, so you can send some people up there. And that'll be fine. You can just guard until we are ready. Uh, I have a fleet here. 
yes, 40,000 points should be sufficient, I feel, to wrap up the uh, Klagon planet over here. How about this system, though? This one's good. And the Terran, the, the Klagon homeworld is actually not very um, interesting. So we have one there and this one, these two probably are going to arrive at the same time. And this fleet, does it have any troop transports, I wonder? No. It doesn't. So I might do well to put a troop transport in, um, in this system. Just to snipe the um, the Colden Prime planet away from the Barathe after they destroy the fleets. Let's see if we can make that work. And we have stuff in queue and max population here as well. Oh, I can see why. We've certainly been focusing on that. Good. And you have grown as well. Good, 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 good. So battle here. Not so much. Are you not feeling confident? Seems a little odd. So they sent their space factory here. That's kind of annoying. Um, well, I guess I can send a Soros there. Along with the uh, transport. I'm just gonna blow up that thing. And we have 53,000 ships here, so um, why don't we uh, declare the war now? And that'll be fine. Uh, Clack on negotiations. Uh, why don't you actually give me your alien management? Thank you. And your telepathic training. We deny you. No. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll declare war. I feel there should be a cooldown. Like, if you successfully blackmail someone and take their money or technology or whatever, then you shouldn't be able to declare war on them for like a couple of turns, ten turns or whatever. Um, okay, pollution control here. Uh, is this a production planet? Potentially. It is actually. And the resistance has been beat down. Well, we might get some food first because we have a lot of room. But then get that and all of the research, I guess. Then we can worry about production later on. You have something in queue, you have grown. Fleet need orders. Yeah, these are just going to stick together. And uh, there is a fleet, uh, a um, military outpost there. So let's just destroy that. We can just auto it. Good. And then we'll uh, conquer these two planets. Skip that and next. Mm -hmm. They bombarded that planet. That's rude. Seemed a little bit unnecessary, I feel, but okay. So here we can attack not the Balrathi. I just wanted to bombard that uh, thing, but that's not possible. Oh, because I have no bombs on the Soros. Never mind. Uh, I wonder if the Balrathi actually defeated the space station here or not. What's this? This is two frigates. This is four frigates. And this is nothing. So why don't we start by killing that thing? 
they're bound to have a star base. Let's see what we can do against that. Where are my troop transports? That's actually a fair question. Where are my troop Oh, they are there. Aren't they? Yes. Two troop, tr troop transports there. Brutes come forward. Sauruses stay in the rear. And troop transports get the hell out of the way. You can just kill your speed and stay where you are. And you move up, match your speed. Why don't we come this way actually? And just take them out piecemeal. I doubt that they can penetrate our shields um, at this point, but I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. Since I don't know if the Balrathi are going to get upset with us. So let's see if we can fire a couple of torpedoes here. There we go. I expect that will be enough to kill the uh, missile base. Certainly yes. Missiles and torpedoes. Torpedoes do not <coughs> reacquire targets because they don't they aren't controlled by the Dauntless system. <coughs> On the other hand they, they have much longer range, so they definitely have their uses. There we go. Alright, so let's see what we have on the ground. Yes. That is too many marines. I could deploy 12. I don't want to do that. And I have no bombs, so I'll try this one next. Uh, in queue, stuff in queue, threatening fleets, I don't believe it. Alpha, Alpha Setai on my uh, home system is uh, maxed out on population. Are you... You're a Terran system, can you do... Oh, you're already doing the Gaia thing. Okay, good. Get that, because it annoys me, and, and we are fine. Now, did I upgrade my wasps? I remember my wasps um, were carrying bombers, and they didn't seem to be working. Where are my wasps, actually? That's a frigate. That's a lone Soros. Okay, they are Soros. They are Wasp 2s. And over here. Oh, here we have another troop transport. Oh, that, that was that one. Okay, yes. And here, a lone frigate and my attack creep. And the Wasp 2. Was that the one where I had changed it to uh, missiles and torpedoes and death rays? Right, yes, it was. Good. So we have no more of that uh, bomber nonsense, um, which may or may not be working. Uh, honestly, I'm not entirely sure. But it had uh, it, it was showing uh, military value. The um, um, this number. Where's my fleet? Here. 
this number here was saying zero for a battleship which had only bomber bays. And I do not know if that means that the ship itself was defenseless and only the bombers provided any kind of strength, but I guess that number should show. A carrier is an offensive force, right? So that was very confusing to me. Advanced city planning is wonderful, and we can also build planetary stock exchange. So there's something to be built on all of our planets, really. Why don't I have this one? Okay, I kind of beelined past it. Um, can I get some better shields? I feel it's been a long time since we upgraded any kind of... Sh oh, yeah, right here. Let's uh, go that way. We haven't been uh, upgrading our shields for quite some time. You've done a battle station, so maybe build that... Um... Oh, you have a lot of stuff you don't... Oh, you need. So, uh, let's see. How are you doing, punk? You have a lot of population. Yes, now we got plus five. So we definitely want all the the food buildings. And cheap research, cheap money. And then do what? Toxic processor. You have the other pollution building taken care of. Good. So at that point, maybe just do some terraforming and we'll get back to you. You have completed your terraforming. What a wonderful time to do the weather controller. And any more food stuff? No, production stuff? No. Okay. So, um, do the deep sea cooling, then the planetary stock, and then the Gaia. I don't know if you want to do the. Uh, space elevator stuff. You have stuff in queue. Good. You are all growing, and that's going to happen quite a lot in the next few turns. Because we have a number of... of... Um, plants who were uh, almost done growing. See, when I hover here, I can see he has a space... He has a, a, a force of zero, which means he has no space factory. So let's just go there, and at the very minimum, we'll kill the uh, space factory. Good. And then we will see what kind of marine force he has here. Twelve. Okay. So uh, it is defended. Mm. That's a colony ship there. That's the Balrathi fleet, and here's another Balrathi fleet. Well, let's go and take out this one and see if it is any easier. Well, actually, we might want to take out that one first. You don't have a... You don't have a um, military outpost here, for some reason. What are the Balrathi going to do here? One turn, two turn, three turns. So they are four turns away from any kind of battle. Yeah, let's take out the um, the, the force of frigates. So holy shit, they have a lot of frigates. It's a good thing we have the Dauntless system when we engage this fleet, because uh, if we didn't, we would send a barrage of missiles on each frigate, and it would totally overkill all the enemy um, vessels, instead of uh, spreading, spreading it out. Alright, so uh, let's get over here. Now, I shouldn't have brought the transports, because they can actually get into trouble. You're gonna come down here fast. You will match speed. Ow! 
He shot my transport. Yeah. I brought it on myself. I should never have brought it. See the Zonder system doing good jobs of uh, spreading out the missiles. Yeah, I, I totally shouldn't have brought the um, uh, true transport into that battle. That was just stupid. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, goodbye. I uh, should have just left it here and then brought it in after the battle. Live and earn. And we are far, far away from being able to produce other troop transports. But actually, what we could do is just uh, build one here. Because we're going to need a bunch if we want to capture those planets. So... Uh, Let's actually queue up a couple of troop transports. Where are they? Don't I have any marines here? I do not. Okay. Fair enough. How about over here? No. Oculus. You have. You have a bunch. Uh, two troop transports here. Good. They they are very fast uh, in in production. The problem is in um, uh, refurnishing the. Uh, the marine barracks. That takes a while. A long while actually. <clears throat> okay, so we have troop transports on the way. Yeah. You have stuff in queue that is nice and you are growing, that's equally nice. And move the new troop tra transports up so now I suppose we take out the um, the last fleet here and this time we're not going to bring the troop transports try and learn just a little bit from our mistakes yeah it is as expected Max it up and you as well. And we're just gonna do it like we always do. <coughs> Let the uh, roots get a little bit of a head start here. They are agonizingly slow. So, engage that one. Why don't you go ahead and shoot? What just happened here? That was kind of hard. So that should take care of that um, missile base. And we're going to retreat and take care of the frigates. With a bunch of missiles. You're shooting the wrong way. Why are you shooting that way? That was a little bit odd. Would prefer it if the Soros's would stay behind. Just a little bit. No sense in getting damaged on this kind of uh, engagement. Uh, can we do the... Why are you stopping again? This is not clickable. I don't know what these buttons actually do. Well, it says what they do, but why do we have like a big ass button for them? It doesn't seem to give me a speed boost or anything. What does it? 
design system. The tactical battle uh, interface and uh, well, the mini game in its entirety is just not finished yet. Um, it's fair. We are still in, all, uh, in early access. Um, I uh, I expect it to be. Um, I expect them to add a lot to this interface and and the things you can do. So 14 all in all here. Okay. So we can't take any of those two systems right now. What we're going to do is we are going to put all of our troop transports up here and then we are going to take Demos Prime. Oh no, Demos 2 is better actually. He suicided the ship there and he conquered that planet. Okay, so this is his. Uh, personal shield, thank you. And you are doing that, good. Government support facility, wow. That's some old school tech there. Do we need more? Yes, we do actually. They have strikes. So do the hollow simulator and do we have pollution? No. Uh, we do have a fair amount of growth. Okay. So why don't you just terraform and then do some research? That'll be okay. Lots of research. You have done the toxic processor. All right. You also have some morale issues, so you can also get a hollow thing and pollution processor just to keep the pollution under control. And a lot of food buildings. Good. Queued up, queued up, queued up. Threading fleet grown, 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 grown. Fine. All of them are fine. And this is a new troop transport. It's going to come up there. Did you just build a new frigate? Okay. Boom. And that'll be it. Okay. I'll take a break here. Next turn we are going to take all of our troop transports and see if we can grab the Desmos system before the Balrathi just go completely um, uh, crazy and, and, and destroy the whole thing. Bye for now, and I'll see you again soon.